Halloween, happy Halloween. It's October 31st, we're back up at the hangar. Um, and we are, well, first of all, I got some stuff in the, in the mail, not the mail, got shipped, uh, some stuff we got shipped in, bought a couple, a couple more number 30 reamers, uh, picked up a number 11 reamer, um, got some stainless steel rivets from that, um, to replace those, oh, the ones we had to drill out in those doublers uh, on the last video, uh, so we got the replacements and plus some extras in there. Um, got some other rivets. We're gonna order yet some more rivets, some 41s. Uh, that's that's the one that we have. The 41 is what we have a, a bajillion of them. So, and we've you know done we've drilled out a few. We've done some practice rivets with them and stuff. So I probably just I'll probably order up another hundred of those. Um, picked up some set of cobalt uh, drill bits. At least one to replace that 516 that I broke the other night. We've got parts for the pedo system. Um, we've got a pedo mount here. I didn't go with the Rans pedo. Um, I'm doing a Garmin pedo with an AOA in it uh, so that um, um, so that'll interface with the uh, G3X uh, when we get those avionics. But this came recommended, um, saw, saw this on Facebook, they recommended this Dynon kit uh, for the tubing, the tubing and connection kit. And this, this is a Gretz Arrow, I guess you can see it there, PBK-ND non-drilled um, pedo kit, uh, mount kit. Comes with the mount um, and the associated hardware. Probably, I think we have to fabricate some parts for that, but um, got that together and got our pedo tube. I went with the heated but non regulated Garmin uh, GAP26 pedo and AOA tube. So, this is a combined, combined tube that uh, will give me angle of attack and pedo airspeed. So, this is going to get boxed back up and put on the shelf for later when we get the wing put together but I wanted to be sure to have this stuff because uh, we are coming up on wing assembly and we need to get that all plumbed in uh, before we button that up and get it skinned so what else are we doing today we are let's see we're past that page we're going to be priming oh we've got all of these all of these parts here that that we're going to be priming, um, get those ready. Uh, this is in the wing assembly. We're probably going to put the bell cranks together today, but um, see how far we get. One of the things that Rands does is uh, some parts they they machine or uh, CNC all in one piece, and then you have to cut this stuff apart uh, into different part numbers. So something to remember is when you're looking at your parts manual is that this is going to be listed as one part number. Uh, what's that part number for the, the one piece? The one piece is KP... KPI 0037. So it's a 0037 and then it calls a different part number for each of these. You have to separate. There's uh, 10 of these angle attaches and then two of these bigger angle attach pieces. So we'll take those apart, um, cut these out. I've got a grinder. I'll uh, grind those down, smooth them out, and then we'll clean them up. Uh, clean them. Feel, they feel pretty good, but still just do a quick deburr on all this stuff. And we'll get these primed. Getting the parts gathered that are going to be primed. Um, we've got Aileron hinges, we've got a flap hinge arm, flap hinge arm, um, what's this, an outer rib support, bell crank mounts, uh, tie down rings, go on the wings. So we'll prime this stuff, we're not going to be getting to it right away, but we'll get those primed so those will be ready to go when the time comes.
Wrapping things up here, we um, ended up, all we did today was clean and prime. That's uh, all we did. We've got, I went ahead in the, the book and found some, most of the wing parts that were, I should say we primed most of the, as much of the wing parts as we could to this point in the day. Um, we've got these fuel tank supports that go in the, go in the wing. Got those all primed on the on that surface. Got a whole bunch of uh, these other parts hanging here, all strut parts. We've got a part for the flap uh, bell crank. We've got all of the hinge hinge brackets, all of that stuff done. And then uh, just finished up with uh, the stringers for the wing. Uh, got those primed up they're still wet but got those primed so those will be those will be ready by tomorrow we can they'll be dry tonight yeah, at some point by but when we come up tomorrow we'll be able to kind of put them away a little bit we'll store them over by where the spars are um don't know what we're i don't, don't know what's on the schedule tomorrow where we didn't get to the flapper aileron bell cranks um See if maybe we can get to those. Just depends on what the schedule is like for tomorrow um, and when we get up here. So that's pretty much it for today. Um, if you're liking the videos, uh, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. And if you want notifications when the new videos come out, just hit that bell over there on the right side and you'll get a notification when the video gets posted. Um, appreciate you watching these. And um, I'll keep making them as long as people are watching them. Um, but have a good night. That's it for now. And for today's extra content, it's Snow Dump. It's from last week's snow. I don't know how long it'll take to melt away, but there's the Snow Dump.